In the central nervous system, both acetaminophen and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or NSAIDs, are thought to provide analgesia. Through inhibition of cyclooxygenase and the consequent reduction in prostaglandin synthesis, thereby elevating the pain threshold. At peripheral locations, NSAIDs also inhibit cyclooxygenase and reduce prostaglandin production. These peripheral actions account for their local analgesic effects, as well as for some of the unintended health consequences NSAIDs can potentially cause in the heart, stomach, and kidneys. Cyclooxygenase 1 plays a role in platelet function. Aspirin interaction with platelet COX-1 receptors mediates the cardioprotective benefits of aspirin therapy. In patients on such therapy, ibuprofen may compete with aspirin to occupy platelet COX-1 receptors, potentially compromising aspirin's cardioprotective benefits. In the stomach, Cyclooxygenase 1 plays an important role in gastric mucosal protection. NSAID inhibition of COX-1 can diminish this COX-1-mediated protective mechanism. This can lead to GI side effects, such as irritation and bleeding. In fact, the second most common cause of peptic ulcers is regular use of NSAIDs. Cyclooxygenase 1 and cyclooxygenase 2 play a role in renal function. NSAIDs can affect both COX-1 and COX-2 in the kidneys. In people with some compromise of renal blood flow, NSAID inhibition of COX-1 in afferent renal arterioles can result in reduced renal perfusion. In distal tubules, NSAID inhibition of COX-2 can result in altered tubular sodium and water handling.